So at this point, we will now um, discuss the um, algorithms that uh, can be used to synthesize the script source codes. Okay, so we will limit our discussion on ano, on the generation on of source codes for discrete memory less, memory less sources or DMSS. Okay, so um, we also have discussed in a previous uh, lesson that um, there are two kinds of ano, there are two kinds of um, compression or yeah compression algorithms uh, used to design uh, used, used to synthesize source codes. Uh, those uh, algorithms that design variable length codes and those that, uh, that uh, synthesize um, fixed length codes. Okay, so we will discuss um, some algorithms that implement those uh, two classes of algorithms. Okay. So we start with, um, with algorithms that generate or um, synthesize variable length source codes. Okay. Uh, the one of the most uh, efficient uh, algorithm uh, and um, easiest to um, write on is the um, Huffman code algorithm or Huffman coding algorithm. So in 1952, Huffman devised a variable length encoding algorithm based on the source letter probabilities. Okay. So this algorithm is optimum. So this algorithm is optimum in the sense that the average number of binary digits required to represent the source symbol is a minimum. Okay. So this algorithm generates a uh, the list. This, this, this is the algorithm that would generate the list R bar. Okay. This, this algorithm would, uh, would generate the list R bar. Okay. Of course, it's still subject to um, constraint that the code words satisfy the prefix condition. Okay. Um, now, um, again, what we want is, uh, no, what we want is uh, uh, a, a, our code words, okay, our codes, okay, source codes that um, satisfy the prefix condition, okay, so that it is uh, uniquely decodable and instantaneously decodable. And at the same time, okay, we would like uh, the, the average number of binary digits or the R bar to be actually very low, okay? So that um, later on, we will learn that uh, making this low would make the efficiency or would make uh, the coding efficiency or the efficiency of the code. Efficiency of the code to be greater. Okay? So, so there. So we um we are now we are now we are ensured that uh, Huffman codes, okay, are uniquely and instantaneously decodable, okay. Now codes that have or that has the ano that have the shortest average code word length R bar are called compact codes, okay. Um kapag na kapag, kapag ang algorithm can synthesize uh, a very um minimal. Uh, codes with minimal uh, code word lengths, okay, uh, they are considered to be compact codes, okay. So one of those compact codes that, uh, or one of those algorithms that uh, can generate compact codes are Huffman coding algorithm. Okay, so let's demonstrate or let, let's illustrate the synthesis of Huffman codes by means of two examples. Okay, first, so let's consider um, a DMS, okay, with seven possible letters, X1 up to X7, having the probabilities of occurrence as indicated in this table, okay. So uh, we notice that the source letters are ordered based on decreasing orders of uh, decreasing order of um, probabilities. So this is what I was um, stating in a previous ano, in a previous discussion, okay. Na kapag ka gagamit or kapag ka mag-implement tayo ng algorithm uh, that ano that uh, uses probability of occurrences as a basis, okay. We have to arrange the letters, okay. We have to arrange the let arrange the letters in terms of decreasing um, probabilities. So, makikita natin yan dito, no? Sa table na to. Okay? So, 
um, always that uh, the, synthesis, the, the synthesis of Hoffman code is aided by the construction of a tree diagram, which we will call in our uh, case as a code tree. Okay? So we, um, ano, we demonstrate the step-by-step -step process in the following table. So yun nga, no? First, list the, prob uh, list the probabilities of occurrence for each letter in one column on the order of decreasing probability. So ito yun. Okay? Now, uh, next part, next step is to join okay, the two least probable letters okay, among the um, letters among the set of letters. Okay? So, titingin natin yung may pinaka mga, mga may pinaka mababang probabilities dun sa lahat ng set of letters. Okay? So, i-join natin siya sa isang, ano, parang subset. Okay? Parang gagawin natin siyang isang subset ng ating, ano, ng ating um, source alphabet. So, um, in this case, yung uh, the letters that have the lowest probabilities is itong X6. Okay? This X6 and X7. Okay? So, we will combine um, X6 and X7 on a um, subset of our uh, letters. So, we will call that as X bar or X6 prime. Okay? And then, um, uh, una, yung nasa taas na branch, okay, uh, would be assigned. So, yung nasa, nasa, this is called the branch kasi nga code 3 ito eh. Okay? So, when we join them, okay, they actually combine on a node. Okay, magko-combine yan sa isang node. Okay, ngayon, uh, dun sa node na yun, syempre yung paggagaling yun, mga branches. So, it, uh, it actually come from uh, two branches. Okay? So, ngayon, yung upper branch, i-assign natin ng code na zero. Okay? While the lower branch would be assigned the code, uh, the symbol one. Okay? And then, gagawin natin is, ia, dun sa node, i-add natin yung dalawang probabilities na ginoy natin. So, we will add this probability and this probability. Okay? So, having the sum, the, those probabilities will have the sum of 0.01. Okay? So, yun yung first step. Now, ngayon, um, since we have combined, okay, we have combined um, X6 and S7 into a, ano, into a subset, okay, called X6 bar or X6 prime. Okay. So, yung probability ngayon ng X6 prime is 0 0.01 na. Okay. And also, um, kapag ka yung, ano, yung X6 prime ang ginamit natin uh, instead of using X7, X6 and X7, this set of letters now is called the reduced source. Okay. So, reduced source siya kasi yung ating uh, letter, okay, this letter has been, ano, has been, um, combined on a uh, on a set on another set okay so tawag natin diyan reduce source okay now we repeat that process okay but this time uh, ang ikukumpara na natin kasama sa comparison natin yung ano yung um kinumbine natin earlier so uh, um so join the two least probable letters okay from the reduce source okay so titingnan natin ngayon yung redu ano uh, reduce source na so ito um we're not looking now at this one but instead, we're looking at these probabilities. Ito na yung mga titignan ating probabilities ngayon. So ngayon, i-join natin or i-combine natin yung dalawang letters, okay, or dalawang symbols that have the lowest probabilities. So in this case, that would be X5 and, okay, this one, uh, this symbol, at saka ito. Okay, yung X5 at saka X6 bar natin. So again, tulad ng ginawa natin ng first step, okay, dun sa node, Okay? Uh, dun sa node niya, i-add natin yung probabilities nung dalawang uh, symbols na yon. So, we have 0.04 plus 0.01. That should give us 0.05 as their sum. Okay? And um, we would assign a, ano, a code of 0. Okay? We would assign a, the symbol 0 para dun sa upper branch. Okay, and 1 para dun sa lower branch nung ginawa natin uh, code 3. So, lagay natin yung uh, naunang mga nilagay natin kanina. Okay? So, now we have now the reduced source X1, X2, X3, X4, and X5 bar. Okay, so yun yung mga titignan natin. Okay, so we'll repeat that, those, that, that process. 
we repeat that process for the reduced source. Okay? So, in that case, kung uulitin natin siya doon, so we will combine yung lowest, so titing, ang titignan natin ngayon yung mga probabilities ito. 0 0.35, 0 0.30, 0.20, 0.10, at saka itong 0 0.05. Yan yung mga probabilities titignan natin. Okay? So, now, uh, we will join the, la, the, ano, the, least, the two least probable uh, symbols, which in this case, that would be um, X4, Okay, at saka, X5 bar. So, i-join natin siya on A node. Okay? So, then, i-add natin yung um, probability nung dalawang um, ginoy natin. So, point, uh, point 0.10 plus point 0.05 results to point 0.15 probability for uh, the subset X4 bar or X4 prime. Okay? And then, again, we will assign the following symbols. 0 para sa upper branch. Okay? 0 para sa upper branch nung ginawa nating um, bagong branch ng code 3. And 1 para sa lower branch. So, again, 0 to, 1 to, 0 to, uh, 1 to. Okay? So, again, so there. Okay, so we repeat that process. Okay? For the reduced source, uh, x1 up to x4 bar. So, ito na lang yung titignan natin. x1, x2, x3, and X4 bar. So, again, we join the lowest two probabilities, which in this case, that would be X3 and X4 bar. Okay? We join them to create the symbol X3 bar, okay? Which has a combined probability of 0.35, okay? And, yun, um, we will have the following assigned to the to, 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 to the following branches. So, 0 para sa upper branch na to, 1 para sa upper branch na to, and previously, itong mga assignment na to has been made. Okay? So, nagawa na yan kanina mga assignment na yan. So, we continue again. Okay? But here, ito yung tingnan natin, no? Okay, ito yung tingnan natin. Um, we are looking at, ano eh, we, we are looking at um, now, at, at, at least, ano, at this next step, we are looking at the probability uh, at this ano at these symbols. So ito, ito, tsaka ito. Okay? So if we ano, if we are to ano, if we are to um follow yung procedure natin in which uh, we have to combine the symbols having the two lowest probabilities. Okay? Then actually may dalawa tayong option pagdating sa part na to. Okay? Kasi dalawa na lang naman yung, pro yung values ng probabilities na meron tayo eh, in this case. So, we have 0 0.30 at saka 0.35. Okay? We have 0 0.30 at saka 0.35. So, either, okay, kasi kung i-combine ko yung dalawang lowest probability, pwede ang i-combine ko ito. Yung dalawang yan. Okay? O kaya, pwede rin namang ito. Yung x1 at saka yung x2. So, pwede, again, ha, pwede kong i-combine kasi nga, uh, if I'm looking at the, the two lowest probabilities and dalawang values na lang naman yung may iwan dyan, okay, it's 0.30 at 0.35, okay? So, I have the option of combining um, x1 at saka x2, okay? O kaya, I, 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 my, my other choice is to combine x2 with x3 bar, okay? So, yun, yun ang dalawang options ko dito. Okay, so, choosing the first option, okay, that is, ang i-combine ko is yung, ano, x1 at saka x2. Co-combine ko sa isang, ano, sa isang node to create the x2 um, subset. Okay, so, magiging probability niyan is uh, 0 0.65. So, again, same thing, 0 ang naka-assign sa top branch, 1 ang naka-assign sa lower branch, and same thing dito, susulat ko lang yung assignment nila before. This is 0, 0, 0. This is 0, this is 1, and this is 1, 1, uh, 1, 1, 1. Okay, so ayan. And then finally, since dalawa na, lang, dalawa na lang naman yung symbols ko, okay, ito na lang yan, x2 bar at saka x3 bar. So I'll combine them as the last step. Co-combine ko na lang silang dalawa. Okay, so ayan. Finally, join x2 bar and x3 bar. Okay, so the probabilities, the probabilities that you have joined at this step, okay, should add up to 1. Kailangan ang magiging sum na niya doon sa pinakadulong branch should be 1. Okay? 
So, yun, ang magiging sum na dito is 1, which, when we check, is 0.65 plus 0.35. So, that's 1 nga. So, tama. Okay? And then, um, uh, ayun. So, this now is the completed code 3. Okay? What, uh, what you can see here is the, no, is the completed uh, completed uh, code 3. Okay? For the given source. For the source. Okay. So, ang tanong ngayon is paano siya babasahin? Okay. Paano babasahin yung code 3 ngayon? Okay. So, ganito. Um, to read the, ano, to read the, the code. Okay. To read the codes for each letter. Okay. To read the codes for each letter. So, you start from the rightmost node. Okay. We start from the rightmost node. Magsisimula tayo sa pinakanan. Okay. We start here at the rightmost node. And then we trace the path. Okay. Trace the path towards the letter. Okay. Uh, reading of the binary digits along the way. So, babasahin natin yung mga binary digits na madadaanan natin. Okay? So, the most significant bit, okay, the most significant bit of the code, okay, is the first binary digit that you will read from, okay, the code 3. This is a uh, column statement, from the code 3. Okay? So, there. So, for example, um, babasahin natin yung ano, yung code para, for example, kay X4. The, the symbol X4. So, tracing the path, starting from the rightmost, ano, rightmost area. So, simula dito sa, ano to, sa uh, part na to. So, tracing the path towards X, X4 uh, leads us to the following. So, itong one, okay, that's the most significant bit. So, yun yung ilalagay natin sa pinaka-left side ng code natin para sa X4. So, Para sa X4, ang code natin is 1. That's the first one. Then, uh, we will have to, ano, we will have to go down here. Okay? So, that gives us, uh, again, nadaan natin yung 1. Okay? So, that's another one. Okay? As, as part of the code word. Then, finally, 0. Okay? 0. As its third uh, binary digit. So, yun. Doon natin makukuha yung X4. So therefore, ang assigned code word natin para sa X4 is um, 110. Okay? So you can ano, you can actually check uh, these codes, okay, from your code 3. Okay? Pwede pwede yung i-check yan. For example, si X1, okay, is um si X1 eh, um that is uh 0, okay? And then, 0. Okay? So, yan. So, x1 is 0, 0. Okay? Uh, while x2, si x2 naman is uh, 0. Okay? And then, 1. This one. So, x2 is 0, 1. Okay? And so on. So, uh, I'd leave it to you to, ano, to verify yung uh, mga codes na to galing dito sa code 3. But that's how we read the the uh, ano, the um, accomplished or completed code three for our source. Now let's ano, let's um, let's tabulate the ano, the uh, information okay, that we have for our uh, synthesized code. Okay, so ano yung mga kailangan natin sa information natin or sa table natin. So aside from the codes, okay. Aside from the codes, um, let's compute yung self-information nung bawat letter. Okay? So, again, self-information is computed using this formula. Okay? That's the negative log of the probability of um, the occurrence of uh, the letter okay, uh, to the base 2. Okay? So, in this case, for example, um, Yung self, yung self information for example ng letter X1 which has a probability of um, 0.35 is computed as yun. So negative log of 0.35 to the base 2 is 1.5146. Uh, 
Okay, so that's the self information. Okay? So ayun. Um you can ano, you can proceed with uh, the others, okay? For example, uh, for x2 we should say probability of 0.3. Okay? So ang kanyang self information is 1.7370. Okay? So please verify this ano, these values by computing the self information for each of the letters using this formula. Okay? Now, um, we compute the entropy. Okay, we compute the entropy of this source. Okay, by using this formula that we have studied in um, a previous lesson. Okay, so this is the sum of the probability of uh, occurrence of each um, letter times the uh, self information. Okay, for each uh, letter. Okay, so we can compute that. Okay, kapag ito, expand natin from the table. Okay, if we actually use these probabilities, okay, and um, use this formula, expand this formula, we will come up with this statement. Okay, so please verify that this computes to 2.1100 bits per letter. Okay, again, the units is bits. Okay, uh, the, unit, the, the unit here, bits, pertains to the uh, amount of information. Okay? And not the uh, number of bits. Okay? Not, not the number of bits of the code word. Okay? Hindi yun yung pinag-usapan natin dito. Okay? Dito, since we're talking about entropy, we're talking about the amount of information. Now, kaya siya bits because we have used uh, the base 2 logarithm in the computation of the entropy. So, since ginamit natin yung uh, base 2 logarithm, so the unit of the entropy becomes bits per letter. Okay? So, this is now the entropy of your uh, source. Okay? Next, let's compute the average number of bits per source letter. Ito yung, ano, um, this average number of bits per source letter, ito yung R bar. Okay? This is R bar. Okay? Now, ang R bar kasi ay nakadepende sa code word lengths. Okay? Nakadepende siya sa code word lengths and at the same time sa probability of each symbol. So, nakadepende siya sa code word lengths and at the same time sa probability of occurrence of each letter. Okay? So, ayan. Now, let's ano, let's try to determine yung ano, yung mga code word lengths nung ating na design na, or na synthesized na code. So, going back to the table, okay, uh, and having this as the, ano, the codes, okay, na, 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 na synthesized natin using Huffman, ano. By the way, we can call this now, ano, we can call this code as, ano, Huffman code. Since we have used the Huffman algorithm okay, in order to synthesize this code, so we can call now this code, okay, this set of code words as the Huffman code. Okay. So we determine now the, ano, the um, set of code word lengths for each of our code. So we have uh, 2, uh, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. So, ito ngayon yung magiging set of code word lengths natin. Okay? So, now, we compute now, okay, we compute now the um, average uh, average code word length, okay, or average number of bits per source letter, okay, using this formula. Okay? That is, we multiply 2, okay, we multiply 2 with the probability associated with uh, or the probability of occurrence of x1, which is 0.35. Okay? Then, uh, this next um, code word length 2 okay, is multiplied to the probability of occurrence of x2, and so on and so forth. Okay? So, we now, ano, we now um, compute this. Okay? And um, please verify that um, this, ano, this uh, operation 
okay, would actually result to the following average code word length. Okay, so this is now your average code word length, which is R bar. Okay, so ayon. Again, alalahan lang natin ulit that our uh, uh, that, that the entropy of our source is 2.11 uh, bits per letter. Okay, this, this is our entropy. Okay, ito yung entropy natin. Tapos, ito yung um, uh, ating average code word length. Okay, ito. Now, what, we, what can we say about the relationship of the two? Okay, we take note, we, we observe that R bar is greater than the entropy. Okay, again, this is um, from the, uh, ano, this is from the, Yung, yung condition na to is actually set by the um, lossless uh, source coding uh, theorem which we discussed in the previous lesson. Okay? So, in that case, okay, in that case, it is this code that, that we, we were able to design or the Huffman code that we were able to synthesize is a lossless source code that is decodable because it satisfies the it satisfied the um the condition set forth by the lossless source coding theorem okay now um at the start of this you know, discussion this, this discussion we have mentioned that the Huffman codes are considered to be compact codes okay so again when uh, when you say uh, codes are compact or uh, when you say compact word, codes uh, these are codes having uh, the least having the least R bar, okay, or least average code word length, okay. So yun yung ibig sabi ng compact codes, okay. Now this should imply, okay, that this average code word length is the least value of R bar among the source codes that can be synthesized for the source. Okay? Any, so, any, ano, any um, algorithm, okay, any algorithm that, that will design or that, ano, that, um, that will synthesize codes for the source that does not use the Huffman algorithm will result in a higher value of R bar. Mas mataas yung magiging value ng R bar para sa iba pang codes na i-design or i-synthesize natin using algorithms that are not based on Huffman algorithm. Okay? Now, let us define the efficiency of the codes. Okay? Using this symbol, percent eta. Okay? Or percent, yeah, percent eta. Uh, so, this is the efficiency of your codes as this one. So, it's 100 times the entropy divided by R bar. Okay? So, ito yung sinasabi ko kanina that um, the lower the, ano, the lower the value of um, R bar, okay, or the closer, sabi, uh, I, I mentioned earlier that the closer, uh, remember, the condition was, ano, the condition was um, your average code word length should be great, at, at least, okay, uh, your entropy. Okay? Pero uh, I mentioned, uh, we, we mentioned earlier that um, the the closer the R bar to H or to entropy, the more efficient the synthesized code is mas efficient yung code kapag ka mababa yung R bar. Which is obvious naman dahil um, since if we measure our efficiency in terms of um, transmitting uh, transmitting codes, uh, it is more efficient to, uh, to, to, to transmit uh, shorter codes than longer codes. So therefore, lower R bar uh, results to more efficient codes. Okay, so obvious naman din to sa formula na to because if we have your R bar to be lower, then this increases the efficiency. Okay? 
Now, if you actually compute the efficiency of the Hapman code that we have generated earlier, it is 95.5% efficient. Okay? So, again, you can verify in equation 26 here in this equation. Okay, so you can verify here. Okay? That um, higher R bar, okay, which means longer average code words, okay, or longer code words by average, okay, uh, results to codes with low efficiency and are considered then as inefficient codes. Okay? Now, if you check the craft number of the Huffman code that we have just synthesized, okay, so since, again, the um, set of code word lengths for this one is um, 2, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. Okay, so th this is 2, 2, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, 5. Okay, so uh, we can compute the craft number as um, 3 times 2 raised to negative 2. So ito yun. Okay plus 2 raised to negative 3, plus 2 raised to negative 4, plus 2 times 2 raised to negative 5. So, please verify that this computes to 1. And, since this is 1, okay, uh, the craft number for this Huffman code that we have generated is, or satisfies, the craft inequality. So, this satisfies the craft inequality. So, which means, for this set of code word lengths, um, uh, codes that satisfy um, the prefix condition condition can be synthesized. Okay, makakapag-synthesize tayo ng source codes that satisfy the prefix condition because we can see that the uh, that, the, that that this set of code word lengths okay satisfies the Kraftman at uh, the craft inequality okay now pwede nyo ngayon i-check okay let us check actually so these are the codes that we have generated these are the Hoffman codes uh, that we have generated for uh, using the Hoffman algorithm so this is the Hoffman codes that we have just uh, synthesized, okay? So, upon checking, we see that um, this set of code words uh, satisfy the prefix condition, okay? They satisfy the prefix condition. We cannot see any shorter codes being the start of uh, the code words of longer codes. For example, yung 0, 0, Hindi nyo makikita as the, the beginning of nito, 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 or nito. The longer uh, code words. Okay, same thing with ano. Same thing with 0, 01. Okay? Same thing with 0, 01. You would not be able to see 0, 01 here, 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 or here. Okay? You would not see this starting with 0, 01. Okay? So we verify that this Huffman codes satisfy the prefix condition. Okay? So, there. Now, let us recall in step 6 of the Huffman code algorithm or the Huffman algorithm that we have uh, uh, done earlier na nagkaroon tayo ng choice, okay, whether to join x1 and x2 or to join x2 with x3 bar. Okay, nagkaroon tayo ng ganong option. Uh, ito yun, uh, kung maaalala nyo to. So, dito, may option dito. We had the option of joining these two Okay. We had the option of joining these two. Okay. O kaya, instead of that, we can actually join these two. Ang pinili natin yung una. So, we have uh, we have chosen to um, join x1 and x2. Kaya naging ganun yung code natin. Now, what if gawin natin yung second option? Okay. Let us try to, ano, let us try to um, generate yung, uh, or synthesize yung code using yung second option. Okay. So in this case, um, ito yung magiging alternative codes natin. So if you actually join, um, ito yung x2 eh. X2, uh, x3 bar. Okay. Tapos ito yung x2. 
this is x1. So, in this second option, we will have, instead of joining x1 and x2, ang i-join natin, yung na lower probabilities is yung x2 at saka x3 bar. Which, take note, is 0.35 at saka 0.30. So, okay lang. Kasi yun naman yung dalawang lowest na talaga. Okay? So, doing that, joining these two, and assigning zero dun sa top branch, one dun sa lower branch, okay, will result, to, will result to the total probability of 0.65 para sa x2 and x3 bar. Okay? And finally, we will have to join this with x1 bar. Okay? So that we will have 0 para sa top branch and 1 para sa lower branch. Okay? So ngayon, you can um, verify from this uh, uh, alternative uh, code 3 the following codes. Okay? Please verify yung, ano, yung mga codes na yan galing dito sa code 3 na to. Say for example, Para sa X1, this is X1 eh. Okay? Uh, you have the code 0. Okay? Let's use a different... Uh, para sa X1, you have the code 0. Okay? Uh, for X2, okay, you have the code... Uh, you have the code uh, 1, okay? Then, 0. Yun. Okay? And sa X3, for example... You have the code um, one, uh, one starting with one, and then going down another one, and then going up, you have zero. Para sa X3, so you have the following one uh, one one zero code para sa X3. Okay, so this will be the ano, the code that will be generated using this alternative uh, code three alternative solution that uh, for the uh, for the Hapman algorithm. Okay. And um, now let us ano, let us um, try to characterize this ano, this uh, this code. Okay. Um, kung mapapansin nyo, compared to the ano to the previous code that we have generated, iba na ngayon yung set of ano nito, set of um, code word lengths. Okay. Instead na siyang ay kanina, the set of code word lengths that we have for the previous code that we have synthesized is two, 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 three, four, five, five. Okay. This time, para sa code na na-synthesize natin using the alternative solution, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6. So for this, for this code, we have the following uh, set of code word lengths. Now, computing R bar, okay, again, R bar is equal to the summation of NK uh, times the probability of uh, the occurrence of an alphabet, okay, uh, let's use K also. From K equals 1 up to L. So that's that's your R bar. Okay, so we have uh, 1 times yung probability ng X1, which is 0.35. Okay, so that's 1 times 0.35. Tapos 2 times 0.30 as the probability for X2. Then 3 times 0.2 as the probability for X3, and so on. Okay, so please verify that still computes to 2.21 bits per letter. Okay? So, what do we notice? Um, both the, the Huffman code that we have generated before and this Huffman code that we have just synthesized have an average code word length of R bar of 2.21 bits per letter. Okay? Hindi nagbago yung R bar na. Whether we have the following set of code words or yung isa. Okay? And still, we consider this to be the least value for your R bar. Okay? So, whether you use yung unang, ano, unang code, set of codes, or yung ito, pangalawa, uh, kumbaga, parang ano, parang, kasi ano eh, ito yung set of code words natin eh. So, ano bang meron dito sa set of code words natin dito? So, nung una. Uh, the maximum uh, number of um, code word length uh, for the previous code was 5. Ito kasi 6. Okay? Pero yung ano, pero yung minimum kasi is ano, was 1 in the new code. Okay? It was 1 in the new code. Pero 2 okay, in the old code, in the in the previous code that we have synthesized. Okay? So parang um pwede tayong mag ano, gumamit ng uh, one binary digit para sa isa sa mga letters na to. But that would cause us to 
uh, use more uh, binary digits para dun sa mga lower probability codes or lower probability letters that we have. Or we have the option of using um, two binary uh, digits for uh, some of our codes, pero we will use five binary digits for the lower uh, probability uh, letters natin. So, ganun lang naman yung, natin, yung option natin. But still, pareho lang yung magiging R bar niya. Whether you use uh, the previous or the previously synthesized code or this one, um, it would still generate R bar. The same value for R bar. Now, which uh, code would you use depends on your ano, your preference. Depending yun sa magiging preference niyo. Okay? So, it actually depends on which uh, code will you prefer to be used. Okay? So, there. Now, let's take a look at example 11 in which um, we are given the code 3 that syn uh, for synthesizing the Huffman code for ADMS. Okay? So, what is written here or what was given here are the probabilities. Okay? So, we don't know what the letters are. So, let's just assume that they are x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, and x8. Okay? So, now, um... Take a good look at the ano, at the uh, at the uh, code three, no? Okay. So here, uh, again, uh, we trace natin yung steps ng Huffman algorithm. So we uh, it started with combining the lowest two, okay, to 0 0.02 to 0 0.04 to have 0 0.06 as the probability. So zero is assigned at the top branch, one is assigned at the bottom branch. Okay. Next. Uh, we combine the next two lowest, okay, which in this case itong 0 0.09 at saka 0 0.16, ah, 0 0.06. So that should give you 0.15. Okay? So that, uh, that uh, again, yung branches natin, yung top branch natin would be assigned as 0 and then the lower branch would be assigned as 1. Now, um, from there, uh, we see that the two next lowest letters Okay. The two next like let's know next lowest probabilities, okay, would be these two. Ito at saka to. Okay? Point 0.12 at saka point 0.10 kasi point 0.15 na to eh. So yung next two lowest letters natin would be point 0.10 at saka point 0.12. So combining that, uh, joining those two, okay, uh, gives us a probability of point 0.22, okay? And then we assign 0 to the uh top branch, 1 to the lower branch. Okay? So, now, the next lowest 2, okay, after that, is itong dalawa. 0.13 tsaka 0.14. Okay? So, kaya siya yung join natin ulit. Okay? So, again, tatadaan nyo, kapag ka nag implement kayo ng Huffman algorithm, you need to look for the lowest 2 probabilities, always. Laging yung dalawang pinakamababa ang hahanapin niyo para i-combine. Okay? Sometimes, okay, sometimes, it also involves rearranging this code tree. Kailangan iayusin nyo rin to. Okay? Para makombine nyo ng maayos yung ano, yung um, mga ano, mga um, mga probabilities, the lowest two probabilities. Mamaya makikita nyo sa example na i-ano, i-demonstrate po. Okay? So, here again, we combine 0.14 at 0.13 because they, they are the two lowest probabilities that we have. So, we combine them to have the probability of uh, 0.27, okay? Then, uh, we assign 0 dun sa upper branch, 1 sa lower branch, sa bottom branch. Now, ang probability sila natin dito is ito. Um, 0 0.36, 0 0.27, 0 0.22, tsaka 0.15. So, lowest 2 dyan, ito. 0 0.22, tsaka 0.15. So, we combine them on one, ano, we, we join them so that we will have the new probability as 0.37, Okay? So, we assign 0 dun sa top branch, 1 dun sa bottom branch. So, ang probabilities na lang natin ngayon would be ito, ito, tsaka ito. So, the lowest 2 there, okay, the lowest 2 there would be uh, 0.36 at tsaka 0.27. Kaya, siya yung i-combine natin sa next step. Okay? So, therefore, pag kinombine natin siya, it would have a total probability of 0.63. Okay? So, we assign 0 dun sa top branch and 1 dun sa lower branch. And then, finally, 
um, ang i-compare na lang natin is itong 0.63 tsaka 0.37. So therefore, we will join them. Taking note na yung sum ng probability ng dalawang yan is 1. Because 0.63 tsaka plus 0.37 is 1. So we assign 0 dun sa top branch, 1 dun sa bottom branch. Okay? So, let us now, ano, let us now uh, synthesize the code based on this code 3. Okay, so x1 would be um, 0, 0. Yan. Next, um, uh, x2 would be 0, uh, 1, 0. That's x2. Uh, next, um, for x3, this would be 0, 0, uh, 1, and then 1. Okay, so 0, 1, 1. Okay. Then next, for x4, that would be uh, 1, then we have 0, then we have 0. Okay, so 1, 0, 0. Yun. So, I hope that you are, ano, that you are um, gaining an insight on how to read code trees. Okay? So, hindi naman masyadong mahirap basahin itong code tree na to. Okay? You just have to trace. And remember that uh, you start from the rightmost so that pakuha nyo yung most significant uh, bit. Okay? So, now, we now have the, ano, the following Hapman codes uh, that, we were, that we were able to read off from this code tree. Okay? So, um, first we compute the entropy of the source. Okay? Using the probability of occurrences for each letter. Okay? So, as indicated in the code tree, okay, the source entropy would be computed as 2.6290 bits per letter. Okay? So, verify, paki-verify na lang, ha, kung, uh, itong formula natin. At saka kung ta uh, tama yung ma-generate niyang value. Okay? Essentially, this is, ano, um, again, this is um, 0.36 log 2.36. That's for x1. Okay? Kasi 0.36 yung kanyang, ano, probability of occurrence. Okay? Next, we have um, 0.14 log 2.14. Okay? Dahil yung probability of occurrence ng ating uh, next letter, x2, is 0.14. So, and so on. Okay? So, you um, try to compute, okay, this uh, expression and come up with the following value. Okay? Now, let's then compute after that, after computing the entropy, let's compute the average code word length, the R bar. Compute natin yung R bar. Okay? So, let's determine first the set of code word lengths. Okay? So, here, we determine that the, 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 the set of code word lengths to be um... So, di natin lagay NK. This is 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4. So, that is 2. Ilan 3 yun? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Limang 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then dalawang 4. So, these are the set of code word lengths for the uh, Huffman code that we have synthesized. Okay, so now, we compute now the average code word length as uh, the sum of nk times the probabilities for each um, letter, okay, from k equals 1 up to l. So, we um, multiply 2, okay, with 0.36 as the probability for x1, okay, then 3, ito, uh, from here, okay, times 0.14 as the probability for x2, and so on. So we determine, okay, if you check this, ano, this statement, okay, and compute uh, and calculate this, ano, this expression, uh, verify that it would return 2.70 bits per letter. So this is now your average code word length, okay. And since R bar, which is 2.70 bits per letter is greater than okay, the entropy of the source which is in this case 2.62 uh, bits per letter. Okay? Uh, this follows that 
your uh, Huffman code, okay, complies with uh, the limit uh, set by uh, the uh, lossless source code theorem. Okay, so we are ensured that we can design. Okay, we 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 are, we are sure that we will be able to. Ano, we will be able to um generate a unique uh, decodable or the, ano, the the codes that we that we are able to generate for ano for uh for the source. Okay, because this is our R is unique and decodable. Okay? So, ang tanong lang is if it is uh, instantaneously decodable. But um, in the case of Hamban codes, these are instantaneously decodable. Since it, they are also, ano, they are also compliant with the prefix condition. Okay? So, we compute now the efficiency of coding. Okay? Using the formula 100 times the entropy divided by R bar. Okay? Which results to Efficiency of 97.1%. Okay. Taas. Okay. Now, the craft, the, the craft number for this code, okay, is um, 2 raised to negative 2. Okay. Tapos 5 times, para dito, you have 5 times 2 raised to negative 3. And then para dito, you have 2 times 2 raised to negative 4, which is 1. Which shows na it satisfies the uh, craft inequality. So, satisfies the craft inequality which makes it possible possible that uh, that uh, codes that comply with um, prefix condition can be synthesized Ayan. So, it's possible na makapag-synthesize tayo ng codes that satisfy the prefix condition because it satisfies the graph inequality. Okay? So, there. So, moving on to some more examples. Okay? So, in examples 10 and 11, we synthesize subman codes for each source, source letter or, or symbol. Now, here in the example 12, okay, we will demonstrate that a more efficient code okay, may be synthesized if we actually encode blocks of J symbols at a time. Okay? So, instead of actually um, generating uh, codes for each of the letter, we can actually um, ano, generate codes for blocks of letters. And that may lead to a more efficient uh, codes. Okay? So, ganito. We start with, ano, we start with um, this, ano, this, uh, with a DMS, okay, having three letters, X1, X2, and X3. Now, the probabilities for each letter is given as 0 0.45, 0 0.35, and 0 0.2. Okay? Now, um, what we do, or what, uh, at the start, we have, uh, no, we have, for each letter, we have a Huffman code. Okay? We, all, we have already generated a Huffman code for each letter. So, using the, 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 that Huffman code, we characterize the you know, these codes as follows. Okay. The average code word length for this set of codes okay, is 1.55 bits per letter. Okay. And the efficiency okay, for, of this code is 97.6. Now let's try this one. What we do is we try to synthesize a Hapman code for pairwise combination of these letters. So ibig sabihin, um, gagawa tayo ng code or mag-synthesize mag tayo ng Huffman code for um, for these letters that are combined in pairs. Okay? So, pag sinabi nyo pairwise combination, ganito yan. Um, you have, for example, X1, X2, and X3. Now, si X1, ipe-pair mo kay X1, kay X2, at saka kay X3. Okay? Si X2, ipipare mo kay X1. Ah, gawin natin mas ano. 
Ayun ang bara. Okay. So, si x2, ipipayat natin kay x1, x2, and then x3. Tapos si x3, ipipayat natin kay x1, x2, and x3. So, we will be able to generate the following pairs of letter. letters. Okay. Uh, we have x1, 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 x2, x1, x3. Okay. Then x2, x1. Okay. We have x2 and x2. We have x3. Ah, sorry, x2, x3. Then we have x3, x1. Okay. We have x3 and x2. And then x3 and x3. Yan yung sinasabi natin pairwise combination. We take all the uh, combination of pairs of the letters of our DMS. Okay? Um, also, uh, we actually ano, we actually use the term um, uh, we actually use the term uh, I forgot the term or what the term was. So, yun. We actually call this, okay? Uh, we actually call this uh, uh, this one uh, or the source that will generate this, ano, this set of alphabets, okay? To be uh, what we call the second extension of uh, this source, okay? Say, for example, if uh, this source is called... Um, Source X, okay? We call this as the source X, which generates X1, X2, and X3, okay? Um, the second extension of source X actually generates the pairwise combination of um, of uh, the original source, okay? Or the original DMS as its alphabet. So, parang ano, parang uh, yung tinatawag natin second extension is um second second extension of x is yung uh, source na nagje-generate ng pairwise combination no uh, alphabet of uh, the original source DMS source or DMS x okay so tawag natin to second extension pag kinuha natin yung ano yung uh, again kung halimbawa meron kang source x na magje-generate ng um, uh, x1 x2 and x3 Okay. And then kukunin niyo yung ano, yung um uh, source that would ano generate yung triplet uh, combination nito. So that is um generate niya yung ano uh, x1 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 x2. Okay? x1 x1 uh, x1 uh, x3 and so on. Hanggang ma-generate niya yung x3, x3, and x3. Okay? So, yung triplet com uh, triple combination nitong, ano, nitong um, alphabet nung original DMX nyo. Ang tawag nyo dito, we call this source that generates this uh, alphabet, okay, or these messages as the third extension of, um, of x. Okay? So, mamaya may significance yan in terms of entropy. Kasi may relationship yung entropy nito at saka nito. Later. Okay, we will, ano, we will uh, verify that, ano, that uh, relationship. Okay. So, for the meantime, uh, what, we will, ano, what we will deal with is yung second extension of your source, which has three letters. So, gagawin natin is mag mag magsisynthesize tayo ngayon ng Huffman code for the second extension of uh, X. Let's say that this letter or these letters are generated by source X. So, we will synthesize the Huffman code for the second extension of X. Okay. Now, in, in, the, in that case, okay, uh, since um, we're, we're dealing with the second extension, okay, um, we know for a fact na yung probability, okay, the probability of occurrence of these alphabets ay nakadepende dun sa probability of occurrence nito. So, how do we now determine yung probability of occurrence ito? Okay. So, according to the rules of the probability that we have, that you have studied in, the, in, a, in a previous course, okay, um, since this is, this, this, ano, this uh, kind of, ano, this kind of um, combination, okay, eh, requires that both, okay, 
that the that the event uh, or that the you know, that the outcome uh, requires that both to be for example x1 and x1 then your probability of, of of this x1 x1 occurring is actually equal to the product of this occurring times this the probability of this occurring okay so which means um meron yung uh, x dito and then uh, let's have uh, a branch connecting this uh, yeah connecting the, uh, that that and that okay so we take note that the probability of x1 occurring is 0.45 okay the probability of x2 occurring is 0.35 and the probability of uh, x3 occurring is 0.20 so, dito ganun din. The probability of x1 occurring is 0.45. The probability of x2 occurring is 0.35. And the probability of x3 is 0.20. Okay, so let's uh, now try to complete those information. Now, um, the occurrence of x1 and x1, okay, the message x1 and x1, is predicated on the fact that x1 occurs on the first um, instance and it occurs on the second instance. So, in that case, um, according to the rules of the probability that we had studied in the in our probstat course, the probability of occurrence nito is actually the product of the probabilities of this occurring and of this occurring. Okay, so we know that the magiging probability of x1 and x1 is 0.45 uh, times 0.45. Okay, so yun. so yun yung magiging point ano 0 0.2025, 0 0.2025 yung product na yun. So, next, yung probability that x1 and x2 are to occur, okay, is predicated on the fact that on the first uh, instance, your message, uh, your source generates x1, then, okay, on the second uh, instance, it generates x2. So, yung probability na ito mag occur is actually the product 0 0.45 times 0 0.35, okay, that gives us 0 0.01575. Okay. So I hope you're getting the ano, the the pattern here. Okay, para makuha niyo lahat ng probabilities ito, you, you just simply need to multiply yung probabilities on each branch of this tree. Okay? So this is 0 0.45 times 0 0.20. So that should give you this one. Okay? Ah uh, wait, ah uh, this is an pala, ah uh, x2 x1. So this is x2 x1. So this is 0 0.35 0.35 multiplied to 0.45. Okay, so yun. X2, X1 pala to. Okay, so there. So, that's how we determine the probability of occurrence. Okay, for each letter pair. So, yung probability, again, yung probability ng X1, X1 occurring is the product of probability of X1 occurring times the product of X1 occurring. So, ito yung bibigyan niya sa atin. Okay, yung X1, X2 naman is the probability of product uh, of um letter x1 occurring times the probability of x2 occurring. So that is 0.45 based on the original table. Natin. It's 0.45 times 0.35. So that gives us 0.1575. Okay? So that should give us the idea on how to on how these values are then generated. Okay? So there. Now, again, if we are to synthesize a half, a half man codes for this letter pair, okay, we need to um, use a code tree. Okay. So at the start, we arrange this ano, this code tree, okay, on decreasing probabilities. Okay, of occurrence for each letter pair. Okay? So um again, ah, ang rule ng Huffman code, okay, the rule of Huffman code for Huffman algorithm is to join okay, uh, letters with uh, the two with the uh, the uh, join the the two letters with the lowest probabilities. Okay, lagi natin ko combine yung mga letters having the lowest probabilities. Two letters with the lowest probabilities. So we start with ano? 
uh, with the letter pairs arranged in descending order of probabilities. Okay? So we join the probabilities of the bottom two letter pairs. And then let's add them. Okay? So yung bottom two na yun is itong x3, x3, tsaka x3, x2. So their probabilities is 0.7 and point, uh, 0 0.07, 0 0.04. That gives us the sum of 0 0.7, uh, 0.11. Okay? So just remember that we have already joined these two. Itong x3 and x2, tsaka x3 and x3, into a single uh, subset. Okay? So, tandaan, nakalink na, naka na siya ngayon. Okay? Um, it's, it's the same as, ano, it's the same as uh, in the first step of uh, the previous example, wherein uh, we have joined x7 and x6, for example. Okay? Nakalink na siya lagi in a subset x6 bar. Okay? Same thing din ito yun. Okay? So, ito, itong dalawang to, nakalink na yan. Okay? Uh, with a probability of 0.11. Okay. So ngayon, as you can uh, as you will notice, hindi ito yung ano, uh, hindi ito yung among the lowest two probabilities that you have. Okay? So ang gawin natin is rearrange re natin ulit ito. Okay? Rearrange re natin ulit yung mga an natin, yung mga letters natin according to decreasing uh, probabilities. Pero ito yung ko-consider natin para sa dalawa to. Okay? So in this case, uh, mapupunta siya ngayon dito. Okay, sa part na to. Okay? So, ayun. Now, we combine down the, do, the two lowest, ano, the two lowest uh, probabilities. Okay? So, after rearranging, okay, we combine the two lowest probabilities. So, in this case, we can uh, have this and this as the two lowest probabilities. Okay? Again, ah, yung nakalink na to, hindi na ito yung gagamitin nating probabilities sa kanila. So, we can, uh, we can ignore this too na. Ito, dito na tayo tingin. Okay? So, the two lowest probabilities that we have now is this. So, ngayon, i-join natin siya. Okay? Which, uh, when we add the probabilities 0.09 and 0.07, that gives us 0.16. Okay? So, ngayon, naka-join na to. Naka-join na to. We don't need this. We don't need this. This and this. In terms of ano, in terms of the algorithm. Okay? So, let's rearrange. Okay? Let's rearrange this, ano, this table in terms of decreasing probabilities ulit. So ngayon ito, mapopromote ngayon ito dun sa pinakat pangalawa. Okay, ito kasi 0 0.20252, to, 0 0.15752, eh 0 0.16 to. So ibig sabihin, ito na yung pangalawang pinakamataas. Kaya pupunta siya dito sa taas. Okay? So, ayun. So you see that, uh, uh, that, ano, that uh, half an algorithm actually involves rearranging your ano. Sa mga previous examples kasi natin, the, the rearrangement is actually not necessary. Kasi nagkakataon that the sum of probabilities on the lower end is always less than the probabilities on the higher. Okay, ito kasi hindi. Medyo kakaiba yung mga probabilities niya. Yung, yeah. So that is why we need to rearrange the table. Pero this is actually the, ano, the way the Hopman algorithm is implemented. Okay? So ngayon magiging pangalawa na yung 0.16. No? Okay? So again, this is combined on A. Ano? We don't need to look at this, 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 and this. Okay? Now, we combine now, again, letters, okay, having um, the two lowest probabilities, okay, which in this case, uh, itong dalawang to. Okay? Yung point 0.9 at saka itong, uh, yung combination itong dalawang to na point 0.11. So, when we combine them, so ito na yun. So, ito yung una, originally yung una ating kinombine. Tapos yung uh, genuine natin na yan, eh, i-genuine pa natin ulit sa panibago pang uh, alphabet. Okay? So, this, all in all, 0.11, okay? This 0.11 adds to 0.09, that becomes 0.2. Okay? So, again, ha? Hindi tayo titingin dito. Dito, 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 tsaka dito. Okay? Ngayon, hindi na tayo dito. Kasi ito na yung titingin natin. Dahil nga na, i-combine na natin siya with another. Ano. Okay? So, Again, at this point, we have to rearrange. So, ngayon, mapupunta nga yung sa pangalawa. Pagkatapos ng 0 0.0025, kasi 0 0.02 ito eh, 0.16 to. So, magiging pangalawa siya. Ayun. So, so we have combined this and this. Okay, we have also combined this. So, hindi tayo ngayon titingin dito, 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 at saka dito. Okay? So, now, we proceed with uh, combining 
the lowest 2 ulit. Okay? So, in this case, the lowest 2 would be this 2. Okay? These 2 alphabets. Okay? So, if we add them, okay, if we add them, that becomes, ano, 0.28. Okay? That becomes 0.28 now. Ngayon, kung magiging 0.28 ito, if this becomes 0.28, at i rearrange natin siya. Yung point 28 na mapapromote yan dun sa pinakauna. That becomes the, the, ano, the highest probability. Okay? Kasi point two, point two zero two five to point twenty eight to. So, mas mataas pa siya dun sa pinakamataas. So, mapupunta yan dun sa una. So, ito yun. This one. Again, we're not looking at here at this one now. We have combined this. Wala na to. Wala na to. And this one. Okay? Same thing. Ito. Kinombine na natin dun sa taas. So, wala na rin to. Okay? And then we have combined also this. Wala na to, wala na to. Okay. So we're not looking at the, ano, at the probabilities that we have already added. So doon tayo titingin doon sa nabuong sum. Okay. So again, combining uh, the, the two lowest probabilities, okay, we have the following. Ito, tsaka to. Okay. So pag in natin ngayon yung probabilities niyan, 0.16 plus 0.1575 becomes 0.3175. So pag in natin ngayon to, that becomes 0.3175. Okay? Now, pag nire-arrange natin ito, ito pupunta doon sa una. Okay? Mapupunta yan doon sa, mapapromote yan doon sa una. Okay? Kasi mas mataas, itong 0.3175, mas mataas na doon sa 0.28. Okay? So, ito, magiging ito na siya. So, now, we're not looking at this, this, okay? Kasi kinumbay na natin ito. Okay? To generate 0.16, kaya lang, itong 0.16 tsaka 0.1575, kinakumbay na rin natin siya. Okay? Also, this tsaka this is not uh, to be considered now. Kasi na-combine natin sila. Same thing with this one and this one, which we have already combined. Tapos, ito at saka to, which we have already combined also. So, the lowest two probabilities at this point is ito at saka to. Okay? So, adding the probabilities for, the, for them becomes or uh, uh, sums up to 0 0.4025. Okay? So, ngayon, yung 0.4025 na yan, Okay. Uh, do we, ano, do we... We actually have an option of, ano, actually rearranging by the table. Okay. But, um, take note that it is, that it is also possible that, um, uh, we can also look at the, ano, at the top probability. Kasi may dalawa na lang yung probability na sa taas, eh. So, when we, ano, when we actually, um, look into this, ano, into this, uh, table. Okay. At um, we're looking at this lower uh, part of the table to have uh, a uh, whose probability whose probability sum up to 0.4025. Okay. May option tayo na ipromote pa to sa taas. Okay. May option tayo na ipromote yan sa taas. Okay. And then um, try to see. Okay. Try to see if uh, the lowest two probabilities. Okay. Would actually have a probability that is lower than this one. Okay? Pagka hindi, i-demote natin siya ulit pabalik. So, bago natin siya i-promote, check muna natin yung sum of probabilities nung dalawang uh, probability na sa taas. Which in that case, this adds up to 0 0.5975. So, since mas mataas yung probability nito, okay, again, we're keeping the higher probabilities on top of the table sa pagdating sa Hapman algorithm. So, since th that is 0 0.5975, there is no need for us to promote this on top. Kasi ganun din, ibabalik din natin siya sa baba dahil malalaman natin na yung lowest two probabilities, ito, ito yung magiging next two lowest probabilities. Pagkatapos ito kasi, pinanumot ka sa taas yan, ito yung magiging next two lower probabilities eh. E pag in ko yan, yung sum nito, mas mataas dito. Okay, so ipopromote ko rin ito dun sa taas. So, babalik din ako sa arrangement na to. Okay, so yun na nga. So, these two will be combined okay, to have a probability that sums up to 0.5975 and this would have a uh, would be combined or joined uh, so that the probability here is 0.4025 again uh, observe that the probabilities of occurrence of the of, of the joint of the joint ano joint uh, alphabets should be arranged in decreasing probabilities okay so ngayon actually tong table na to uh, looks very much like your code 3 already. Okay? 
yung mga ano, yung mga for example ito, i ano, merge niyo lang tong ah uh, uh, tanggalin, tanggalin lang natin tong cell na to. Okay? Let's um just simply write this ano, this ito mga to dun sa mga dulong ano, mga dulo ng cells nila. Okay? Yeah, lagay natin sa dulo. So parang ganito yung magiging arrangement. And this actually essentially or this actually uh would be representative of your ano, of your code tree. So parang ang mangyayari diyan is parang si x3 at saka si x1 is to be joined to x2 and x3. Okay? Tapos um ito okay this the, the the combination of the two okay is to be joined to x1 and x2 okay so ito yon ito ito join then ito okay tsaka to i-join natin okay so yon para nakikita niyo ngayon ito na yung parang code tree niyo okay tapos itong dalawa yung x1 a uh, x2 x1 at tsaka x2 x2 so this and this ito yon Ah, uh, ito, at saka to, combine. Okay? So, combine natin siya. Then, next, um, kamayaan to, ito muna. Um, we have x3, x2, at saka x3, x3, to be combined together. Ito, at saka to. Okay? And then, uh, yung, yung combination nila, iko combine natin sa x1, x3. Okay? So, ito yun. So, yung combination nila, iko combine natin sa x1, x3. Okay. Then, um, we will have the two, these two. Okay. You join natin. So, you join natin sila. Okay. And then also, um, this, tsaka this, is to be joined. So, yung x1, x1, is to be joined here. And then finally, we will have to join these two. Okay. So, makikita nyo, ma-generate nyo na yung code tree galing dito sa table na to. Okay? So, ngayon, kung palitan nyo ng probability yung ano, yung, ng, 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 ano, ng uh, assigned symbol, yung, yung mga probabilities na yan, again, the top cell or the top branch uh, as, is assigned the code 0 or the symbol 0 while the, the bottom branch is assigned as code 1. So, in this case, dito, sa code 3 na to, we will have this as to be 0, 1, this is uh, 0, 1, 0, 1. This is 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, then 0, 1. Okay? So, yun. Now, how do we read the codes then? Okay? So, yung x3, x3, x1 natin, okay? x3, x1 natin would have the codes 0, okay, 0, uh, 0, 0, N0. Okay? So, yun yung magiging code nung x x1 natin. 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay? While for x2, x3, we'll have 0. Then, um, we have 0. Okay? Then we have 0. Then we have 1. So, we have 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay? Then, for x1, x2, we have 0, Next is a uh, 0. Next is a uh, 1. Okay? So, we have 0, 0, 1 for x1, x2. Okay? So, mapapansin nyo na ka, hindi ano. Um, again, the arrangement of this alphabet is not according now to ano. To the decreasing probability uh, that, they, uh, that they have at the start. Okay? So, yung, ano, yung code word lens nila. Um, yung arrangement nila hindi rin ano hindi rin in increasing order. You may ano you may want to ano to rearrange this later on. Okay? Um, again, um, the, this arrangement was driven by the fact na yung uh, sum of probabilities kasi okay is actually sometimes higher than the ano than the than the uh, probabilities above it. So that is why kailangan natin mag, mag rearrange ng mga alphabets. Okay. So continuing, we have uh, x2, uh, x1. So for x2, x1, we have 0, then we have 1, then we have 0. So 0, 1, 0. Then for x2, x2, we have 0, next is 1, then next is 1. 
So, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Then, for x1, x1, we have uh, 0, uh, 1, then 0. Okay. For x3, x2, we have uh, 1, and then um, 1, okay, and then 0, and then 0. So, we have 1, 1, 0, 0 for x3, x2. For x3, x3, we have 1, then 1, then 0, then 1. So, you have 1, 1, 0, 1. Finally, for x1, x3, we have 1, then 1, then 1. So, 1, 1, 1. Okay? So, so from the code 3, we have the following Hopman codes. So, yung magiging, uh, these are the synthesized Hopman codes for, uh, uh, for this, ano, for the second extension of the DMS, of the given DMS that we have. So, we summarize those, uh, so this is the, the, uh, the code 3, okay, that uh, we were able to generate. Okay? Now, uh, we summarize now those, the, the information that we uh, obtained. Uh, first, the code that we have obtained here, okay, is summarized in this table. Okay, so check natin. So, ito yung, ano, this, this is the code that we have generated using the code tree that we have uh, constructed using Hopman algorithm. Okay, so we check that, ano, we check that, uh, kasi uh, in this table, uh, the letter pairs are now arranged on increasing probability. Okay, uh, on decreasing pala, on decreasing probabilities. Okay, so ito yung pinakamataas, x1, x1. So, the code for x1, x1 is 10. Okay, uh, also, next, uh, we have, um, for x1, x2, we have, uh, 0, 0, 1. Okay. For x2, x1, we have 0, 1, 0. Ito. For x2, x2, we have 0, 1, 1. Okay. For x1, x3, asan yung x1, x3? Ito. So, we have 1, 1, 1. Okay. For x3, x1, here, we have 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. For x2, x3, we have 0, 0, 0, 1. For x3, x2, we have 1, 1. Ito, x3, x2, we have 1, 1, 0, 0. And then finally, for x3, x3, we have 1, 1, 0, 1. Okay? So, there. Now, you can actually, ano, you can actually, um, again, promote the, uh, I mean, compute the entropy for, um, for this, ano, for this, uh, uh, source, okay? Which, again, we call as the, ano, this, we, we consider this to be the, Second extension, okay, of uh, of the source X, okay. Now, ito kasi yung significance ng ano, ng uh, second extension of X, okay. Um, if um, the source X, okay, if the source X has an entropy, okay, entropy of H, okay? If the source X has an entropy of H, okay? Then, its nth extension, so its nth extension, okay, will have an entropy, an entropy of N times the entropy of the source x. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung ang, ano, kung ang source ninyo is actually an nth extension of another source, extension lang siya nung, ano, nung isang source, then, yung entropy nung extension is the multiple. It's the multiple It's the multiple of um, the entropy of the original uh, source x. Okay? So, in this case, kung second extension to, if this is the second extension, we, um, ano, we expect na yung magiging entropy nito is actually twice nung entropy nung original, ano natin, uh, original um, source natin. 
So, second nga eh. So, mag ang, ang multiplier natin, 2. Okay? So, we take note, ah. We take note that the entropy from, ano, of the, of the uh, source x from the given was 1.153. Okay? Yan yung entropy nung uh, source x. Okay? So, yung second extension ngayon, supposedly, okay, the second extension, sh supposedly, should have an entropy of uh, twice nung 1.153. Okay, which if you can, ano, if you can verify, that should be uh, equal to 3.026. Ah, may pala yung sulat ko, 1.513 pala. Oh, so, this is 1.513. Okay, so if you compute its, ano, its uh, second, uh, the, on, the entropy of the second extension, it should be uh, 3.026. Dapat, okay. Pero we can verify that by, ano, by um, computing the, entropy using these probabilities. Okay? Pwede natin ma-verify yung figure na yun. So, we can, ano, we can uh, use the formula for the probability, uh, for the entropy, okay, using these probabilities. Okay? So, if I actually calculate the entropy of the source using these probabilities, it would give me 3.026 bits per letter pair. Okay? Bits per letter pair now. Okay? So, Ito yung results. The entropy of this source is um, 3.026 uh, bits per letter pair. Pero kung gagamitin ko yung formula para sa second extension, so the original source X has an entropy of 1.153. Okay? And its second extension has an entropy of twice of that. So again, ganun din yung magiging result. 3.026 Okay, so yun yung significance ng ano, yun yung significance ng second extension. Okay, ito pala yung ano, ito pala yung entropy ng original. Okay, so that's the significance of the second extension. Okay, or the nth extension. Again, uh, if the source x has an entropy of h, then its nth extension will have an entropy of n times h. Okay, so there. Now, um, the, uh, the, Average code word length, okay? The average code word length for this, ano, for this, uh, Huffman code, okay? For this synthesized code, um, can be computed using, ano, using the, uh, formula, uh, summation of n, k, times p of, uh, the probability of, um, each letter pair, okay? Uh, probability of each letter pair, Kaya natin letter pair. Okay? So, isasum up natin yan. Okay? But first, we have to get yung nk or yung um, uh, code word length for each code. So, we have 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4. Okay? So, the thing is, okay, the thing is, if we compute uh, the R bar for that, ano, for that source, uh, we will have the following. Okay? So, we will have uh, 2 times yung probability, which is um, 0 0.2025, okay, plus uh, 3 times yung probability na 1 point, uh, 0 0.1575, okay, dalawa yata yan, okay, so, so we will have uh, times 2 pa, so let's have it to be 6 na, uh, we'll have 6 here, okay, plus um, 3, Okay, times uh, 0 0.1225. Okay, then we'll have, um, natin pwede yung combine yung dalawa kasi magkaiba yung code word length nila. Okay, so yung isa dun, 3 times 0 0.09, okay, plus 4 times 0 0.09, okay, and then we have, ito pwede, pwede yung combine to into a single ano, kasi pareho yung code word length nila. So, so we have, 2 times 4, so we have 8 times um, 0 0.07, then plus um, 0 0.04 times 4. So we have 4 times 0 0.04. So that's how we compute the average code word length for the Huffman code that we have synthesized. Okay? So calculating um, R bar or the average code word length for the Huffman code that we have just synthesized gives us 3.0675. Okay, so ito yung nandito. So, R bar there is 3.0675. Okay, so, yeah. So, now, here's the thing. 
Um, ang sinasabi natin dito is this. Uh, generating um, Hopman codes or generate ge, uh, synthesizing synthesizing sizing codes for blocks of symbols are more efficient Okay, ay sorry. Mali, mali. Uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, let, 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 let me redo the statement. The statement was, codes, okay, synthesize uh, for J uh, blocks, J blocks of codes, uh, of symbols, okay, or messages or letters of the source may be more efficient okay than uh, the original ano the uh, original codes so, ito yung sinasabi natin. Um, if, you are, if you have a, a source whose letters are X1, X2, and X3, okay, um, ang entropy niyan is uh, 1.153, okay, and ang kanyang, ano, kanyang um, average code word length is 1.55 uh, bits per letter. That leads you to an efficiency of 97.6. Okay? Now, Ngayon, if we actually use this to generate ano, to generate codes. Okay, para sa pairwise combination ito. That is in in this case, we are um we are generating codes for uh, blocks of two letters. Okay? So ito na nga yun, yung letter pairs na ma-generate natin for that. Okay? Um we will be able to see that this code is actually the codes for this letter pair is actually much more efficient than this one. Okay? Pag ang ginawa nyo, pag, pag ang ginawa natin is that nag-generate tayo ng codes for, ano, for, uh, ilan to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Uh, for 9, ano, for 9 um, letters, okay, uh, na based sa probability nito, the codes that we will be generating would be more efficient. Okay? Compared to dun sa original source natin. Or compared dun sa original codes na na-generate natin for this one. Okay? So, that's the premise that we have. So, makikita nyo yan dahil, una, of course, uh, since second extension nito, you would be increasing the entropy twice. Okay? You would be doubling the, the entropy. But as you can see, okay, as you can see, that uh, the average code word length would actually be not doubling. It, it is actually less than double. Okay? So, therefore, uh, lumaki yung, ano, lumaki yung um, entropy ninyo, pero hindi masyadong lumaki yung, ano, yung average code word. Konti lang yung inilaki nito. So, therefore, um, lalabas nun, mas, mas magiging efficient yung codes natin for uh, the second extension of your DMS. So that's the ano, that's the thing that we are talking about at the start of this example. Okay. So observe that doubling of the entropy. Okay. Doubling of the entropy of the second extension. Okay. But uh, the average code word length. Okay. For the original uh, DMS uh, was um, 1.55 bits per letter, while it is uh, 3.0675 bits per letter for the second extension. Okay? So, dumobli yung entropy, but the uh, average code word length did not uh, increase in the same ano, in the same rate. Okay? So, therefore, it would imply higher efficiency rate for Hopman codes of the second extension. Okay? So, in summary, we have demonstrated that efficient coding for a DMS may be done on a symbol-by-symbol -symbol basis. Okay? So, efficient encoding, okay, may be done on a symbol-by-symbol -symbol basis. 
okay, using a variable length code based on Huffman algorithm. Now, furthermore, the efficiency of the encoding procedure is increased okay, if we encode blocks of J symbols at a time. So instead of actually um, symbol by symbol ano, um, encoding, we can actually have a more efficient procedure by encoding blocks of code. Okay? So, yun. So that is Huffman coding for us. Okay? So, um, I'll cut the, ano, the recording at this point and um, I'll continue it on another part of uh, another recorded uh lecture okay so that um we will have ano, uh <clears throat> we will not be having a uh, very long recorded lectures okay so i'll cut the video here and uh, the recorded lecture in uh, and ano, and on the next ano, lesson we will um discuss um another code or another algorithm that generates um a compact code a variable length compact code which is um basically uh, based on Huffman code also okay so it's called Shannon Fano coding or SF coding. That's for the next part of the recorded lecture.